Good morning, everyone. My morning greetings to all the participants, especially to the facilitators and uh, organizers of this division training workshop on the revised physical fitness test. Uh, this is the last batch of the three batches of uh, participants and this is uh, coming from CD3 or Congressional District 3. Well, uh, so possibly this is to be conducted uh, last uh, December. However, uh, due to the threat of COVID-19, especially when we receive uh, a copy of the executive order of the governor uh, temporarily suspending the conduct of face-to-face uh, -face activities. So that's why we are forced or the organizers are uh, forced to have it postponed indefinitely. And so here it is now. You are the last uh, batch of uh, participants of this uh, training workshop. As, uh, last December, our MAPI supervisor was still uh, around, Sir uh, Eloy Calatraba, and perhaps he is still around uh, today and tomorrow, but not in his capacity as a uh, division supervisor because uh, he retired already from the service. How I wish that uh, he will uh, stay with us. However, it's his decision to end his uh, public service, but I am hoping against hope that uh, he could still uh, with us and provide uh, his guidance, his technical assistance, his expertise, considering that he was our MAPI supervisor for a quite number of years. So therefore, his expertise is beyond uh, question. At any rate, uh, I am thankful that uh, our uh, division coordinator for uh, uh, multi-grade and uh, SPED, Dr. Evelyn Cordelia has also accepted the challenge to temporarily uh, take charge as coordinator, coordinator for MAPI so that uh, the various programs, projects and activities of this uh, particular subject will be uh, taken care of while we are still in the process of uh, having uh, or a selection process for our replacement of uh, Sir Eloy uh, Calatrava. My dear participants and uh, facilitators and uh, resource speakers in this training workshop, I just hope that uh, as you conduct this uh, activity today and tomorrow, you can uh, strictly follow the health and safety protocol as uh, mandated by the IATF, especially the Buhol IATF, the Department of Health and our Department of Education. Uh, like me, uh, I, I really would like to join with you physically. However, I have to comply the safety and uh, health and safety requirements or protocol uh, being an APO or coming, or, uh, coming from Cebu who entered Bohol uh, two weeks uh, ago. So therefore, I had to complete after my 10-day isolation uh, uh, quarantine or quarantine in an isolation uh, facility. And now I will be completing the another 11 days. That's four days to complete the 14 days plus seven. And so this is uh, today is still my fourth day of the 11 days uh, home quarantine. I am doing it and uh, all of us must do it because especially that we are in DPED, we have to prove to our stakeholders, to all the people, to the constituents, to all the uh, residents uh, in Bohol that DPED people are not just uh, knowledgeable but DPED people are obedient. DPED people knows how to follow orders follow instructions and observe strictly the laws and orders uh, for implementation and so that is why even if I would really uh, want to join with you physically but I have I cannot do it that's why I am just joining you this time in your opening program 
virtually. So I do hope that with you also as you conduct, you will do the same. You will observe strictly the health and safety protocol. You have to see to it that you will wear your face mask, your face shield. You will observe social distancing. You will always uh, wash your hands or uh, use alcohol and uh, most especially uh, during uh, picture taking i do hope that uh, we cannot see uh, any one of you will be doing uh, picture taking and having no face mask uh, your intention to to be shown without the face mask cannot uh, overweight the, the the importance of wearing face mask uh, as as they say prevention an ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure and so that's why I'm requesting all of you my dear uh, teachers facilitators principals and uh, supervisors all of you I am enjoining you to please let us strictly obey the health and safety protocol and uh, on the other hand also I am confident that you can uh, have this two-day training workshop successfully considering that uh, Dr. Evan Cordelia is also assisted by uh, a lot of uh, experts, uh, training facilitators. We have uh, a lot of uh, district supervisors, principals, and teachers. Uh, I understand that uh, we have uh, Sir Ezekiel or King uh, Sefra, Sir John Torregosa, Mr. Guyanitsi, and all those other uh, training facilitators and resource speakers who can really assist Mama Cordelia. And of course, I I really believe and I really hope that uh, still Sir Eloy is with you uh, physically right now. And uh, I would like to uh, say to Sir Eloy that uh, please continue assisting us. Please continue giving your uh, free services to the Department of Education Division of Bohol. Because uh, in this time of pandemic, uh, we have to continue performing our task as the bearer of quality uh, basic education. So my dear uh, participants coming from Congressional District 3, who, uh, whom I believe uh, majority if not all are uh, MAPI teachers, uh, but uh, maybe uh, all of you are district coordinators if not uh, if you are not the district coordinator of MAPI but uh, most likely you are uh, MAPI teachers because it's hard to grasp the lesson or activities in, in this training workshop if you have not undergone any uh, prior understanding or learning on uh, on this matter especially on physical fitness test so to uh, wind up or to wrap up everything that I am uh, saying to you today, allow me to share with you a short story that I read from the internet, which I believe uh, very relevant to what you are doing today and tomorrow. Allow me to read. Once a priest was walking from one town to another with a few of his lay ministers. This was in the initial days. While they were traveling, they happened to pass a lake. They stopped there, and the priest told one of his lay ministers, I am thirsty. Please get me some water from that lake there. The lay minister walked up to the lake. When he reached it, he noticed that some people were washing clothes in the water and right at that moment a carabao cart started crossing the lake right at the edge of it as a result the water became very muddy very turbid the lay minister thought how can i give this muddy water to the priest to drink so he came back and told the priest, The water in there is very muddy. I don't think it is fit to drink. So the priest said, Let us take a little rest. 
let us take a little rest rest here by the tree after about a half an hour again the priest asked the same lay minister to go back to the lake and get him some water to drink the lay minister obediently went back to the lake the time he found that the lake had absolutely clear water in it the mud had settled down and the water above it looked fit to be had so he collected some water in a pot and brought it to the priest the priest looked at the water and then he looked up at the lay minister and said see you let the water be and the mud settled down on its own you got a clear water it didn't require any effort my dear participants sometimes our our mind is like that when we are disturbed just let it be when uh, we are confused just let it be give it a little time it will settle down on its own you don't have to put any effort to calm it down that's why if we have to link that story to what you are doing now and tomorrow let it be if there are new guidelines as you will be learning on the, this revised physical fitness activities let it be you listen carefully understand and take time to grasp thus this new guidelines meaning it is necessary that uh, you will not force it as an issue that you might be thinking why this is the way it should be done but it is done in another way so my dear participants just like that uh, lay minister and that priest that uh, they, ju they just give enough time for the water to for the mud to settle down so that the water will be clean so the same with what you will be doing as we conduct this training uh, let us ensure that all those uh, cobwebs all those apprehensions all those uh, challenges that you'll be facing let it be just uh, keep focus on on your uh, task ahead and uh, just uh, bear in mind that the ultimate challenge that you that you will be facing is how you can cascade the this revised physical fitness test to your district level and most especially how can this be offered to our our learners especially that we have no face to face this time that is the most essential thing how can it uh, be done that uh, this revised physical fitness test can be disseminated properly in such a way that it will benefit our learners because if it will not be properly done then it might happen that what we will be what we are be doing or what you will be doing is just a waste of time and it might not get uh, or it might not give uh, the right benefits to the learners but it might be a reason for us to be alarmed a reason for us to be confused a reason for us to uh, say uh, these are the things that uh, we are not uh, prepared of because we did not look into it properly during our training so to all of you good luck good health god bless once again uh, my uh, expectation that uh, as you conduct this training, you have to observe strictly the health and safety protocol. At the same time, you can deliver the goods not only during this training, but most importantly, after the training, the next steps that you will be preparing will be implemented despite the threat of COVID-19. Good morning, everyone.